All right, guys, it's finally here. You have been asking us for months. We have been waiting for it. And iOS 16 is finally here. Well, kind of. The public beta is here. And we install it as soon as we got a chance. So we're going to take a very quick look at it, a quick preview, and then also going to tell you how you can install it. So let's get started. This is how the lock screen looks by default. Uh, the fonts are definitely much thicker. But what I've heard is a lot of customization. Yep. So let's see how do we go about it. Let's try adding a new lock screen. Oh, there are a lot of options. A lot and lot of options. And this is just default. So let's say we try this. We can change the font style. What is this? Oh, this can even change the script. You can, that's, that's pretty nice. can change the font colors, lot, lot of customization, even the scale. If you try it here, you can add more widgets to this. Okay, so right at the top, along with the date, you can add a widget there itself. And then, of course, you can add a lot of widgets here. You can customize it as much as possible. And you can add the perspective zoom. So, oh, this is something new. Now you can use the wallpaper in pairs. So basically the same wallpaper is repeated on your home screen as well. So let's try it. Okay, so this is now the new log screen with the widgets, with the customized font and everything. Before we move ahead, I'll show another thing about the log screen, which I found was pretty interesting. Along with all the options that you get, in the collections, you also get the Clownfish wallpaper. Now, Apple fans will remember this is what you got with the original iPhone. So it's a nice callback to that. And it looks pretty nice even now. Yeah. So maybe I'll be using it for a while. Okay, let's see what else is new in iOS 16. Okay, the first thing, the spotlight search has moved at the bottom. It seems a lot more convenient here, actually. It's quick access. And uh, let's, okay, let's check out the weather app as well. It says tap for more details. There are more additions to the weather app as well. Yeah. A lot more details. Much better laid out. So that's new as well. But I like the search at the bottom. It seems more convenient here. Okay, the next big feature of iOS 16, which a lot of people are excited about, is the upgrade to messages. Let's see how it works. You send a message, and now you can finally edit it, which is a big, big relief for everyone. Yeah, works well. And along with editing, you can unsend a message as well. That is a nice animation works pretty smoothly what else what else okay we can try i know there's something new with the spatial audio yeah personalized spatial audio so i won't try it out now but once you're wearing your airpods pro or airpods max you can customize it even better now and you will get supposedly better sound oh another cool thing that i missed about messages is It says now you can copy images without the background and you can paste them. Yeah, not the cleanest of cutting, but a rough cut. If you just want to send it quickly to someone, this should work. Yeah, that goes. The last big upgrade that I would like to show about iOS 16 is the upgrades to the focus mode. So what they've done now is They've updated the customization that you had. You can make it a lot more customized now. So let's say we see this. First of all, the interface has changed. It looks much cleaner now. And now you can assign a focus mode to lock screens. So if you set a particular lock screen, it will automatically go to that focus mode, which makes things much simpler. 
so a lot more customization or a lot more options that you get here and we'll play around with it we'll see how this goes so i think that pretty much covers all the key features that we have for ios 16. the lock screen definitely looks completely new and a lot more interesting there's a lot more visual elements to it so i think it will take a little getting used to but once you do it it has oh that's another thing the notifications now they pop in from the bottom instead of coming in the center or top again a lot more convenient thing so small small things like this make ios 16 quite interesting all right guys that was a very first impression of ios 16 do you want to try it on your iphone as well well you can you just need to follow this very quick steps okay so start by opening safari on your iphone go to beta.apple.com yeah you'll see a screen like this just scroll down click on get started it will ask you to log into your apple id once that's done you will see a new screen that looks something like this scroll down again click on enroll your ios device you should have backed up your iphone already so now just go and click on download profile allow it yes the profile will be downloaded from here now go back to your home screen open the settings app go to the main screen of settings you will see right at top there is profile downloaded click on it once you enter your passcode just agree to the terms click on install and it will ask you to restart your iphone once your iphone is restarted go to settings again go to general software update and there it is you'll see ios 16 beta just install it like you regularly install software update okay so that was it for this video about ios 16 what do you think of it do you like how it looks will you be installing it let us know in the comment section and if you want us to make a detailed video of walkthrough of all the features of ios 16 let us know about that also in the comment section that's all for now thank you bye bye